What's up guys, it's Mastercard and this is the Zenfone 7 Pro. Yes, the Zenfone 7 Pro. It is a successor to the Zenfone 6 from last year and something that they both have in common is the flip camera system. We have seen a lot of pop-up cameras, I guess it's time for the flip camera to become a thing. So this camera was so different and spectacular last year that ASUS decided to bring it back this year. The Zenfone series seems to be doing very well and of course ASUS as a brand does not really release a lot of phones in a year. In fact, this is the second phone they will release this year unlike Samsung and Xiaomi. So I expect them to drop a quality device. We are well on our way to 2000 subscribers, so I appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. A sub to the channel will be really helpful. That being said, let's jump into the unboxing experience. Well, I just want to say that this is a very big box, probably the biggest smartphone box of 2020 and it's for sure the biggest I've unboxed on my channel. Let's see what we have inside. Taking off the cover, you can see two compartments. Let's open up the small compartment to see what we have. I just want to say I'm really impressed with the presentation here, thumbs up to ASUS. You get a USB-C cable, it's actually a USB-C to USB-C cable which is really great. Next we have the power adapter, it's good to see that we still have the power adapter in the box some companies would not even give you that. It's a 30 watt charger, so we're definitely going to see some amazing fast charging here. Let's move on to the bigger compartments. Here we have a smaller pack, there seems to be a lot of boxes here. Okay, let's see what we have inside. We get some instruction manual and user guide, and not just one, but two phone cases. Let's open them up and see what we have. We get a black and a transparent clear case. Both cases are hard cases so you should get some extra protection. On the black case you have the pattern surface to give some extra grip. You also have the ASUS Zenfone branding and a cutout for the camera. Talking about cutouts, you get a lever for locking the flip camera. If you're worried about the camera moving in your pocket, you can lock it in place. But this is only for the black case, I would have loved to see it on the clear case also. Finally we have the phone in the box. Let's put the box aside and unwrap the phone to reveal its beauty. This has to be my best part of unboxing, it's so soothing. Well, take a look at that flip camera module. Now you have three cameras as opposed to the two cameras we saw on the Zenfone 6 from last year. You have a turquoise and black gradient depending on how the light hits the phone. You also have that ASUS branding at the back. It is really a bulky phone, probably due to the 5000mAh battery you have here. Putting on the black case, you can see how the switch works to prevent the camera from moving. You just move the switch out and it will act as a wedge for the camera and prevent it from flipping. Alright, so we're going to put on the phone now and see what it's like. So now in the camera application, you can see that when you have the switch out, the phone automatically senses it and tells you that you need to unlock the latch so that the camera can flip. I think this is a very nice addition and feature you get on the camera. Let's take a look at the phone and what we have all around it. At the front, the first thing you notice is that this is a very large display. The bezels to the sides are very slim and almost invisible. There is no notch at the top thanks to the flip camera and this gives you a lot of screen real estate. I'm just surprised that they didn't take advantage of this. You can see that the middle section is empty. The forehead and the chin are also considerably small. The display is a 90Hz Super AMOLED display with 700 nits of max brightness. It also has HDR10 and Corning Gorilla Glass 6 protection. On the left side, you have the dual SIM card slot which will take 2 nano SIM. You also have a glimpse of the antenna band on the aluminum frame. On the right, you have the volume rocker and the power button which is also the fingerprint sensor. I love that a lot of brands are beginning to adopt this. It's the best position for a fingerprint sensor in my own opinion. At the bottom, you have the USB-C connector. It's capable of 30 watt charging. You also get the speaker grill and the microphone cutouts. Just to note, the speaker is a stereo speaker so you're definitely going to get good sound output here. The back is where most of the attention is. Apart from the glass back, we have the flip camera which has three different lenses. The main lens is 64 megapixel. you also have an 8 megapixel telephoto lens and a 13 megapixel ultra wide. And the biggest thing of them all is that you can shoot 8K 30 frames per second video. I mean, this is just really crazy. We are beginning to see a lot of good cameras on smartphone and for you to be able to shoot 8K 30 frames per second on a smartphone, very soon smartphones are going to replace DSLR cameras. 
It is powered by the Snapdragon 865 Plus 7 nanometer processor and runs Android 10 out of the box. You also have ASUS custom UI skin which is the Zen UI 7 and it really looks good and looks like stock Android. You also get 256GB of UFS 3.1 storage and 8GB of RAM which is the only variant it comes in. This phone is absolutely a beast and I cannot wait to test it out. I took some shots with the camera and I'll let you decide yourself. I'm really impressed with the quality of the pictures coming out of the camera and hopefully I'm gonna drop a full review of the camera very soon. So that's it for this video guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. If you did not like this video, also give me a thumbs up and next time would be better. Thanks and have a great day. Peace.